Hi everyone, Brybone here, back with another video. And we're gonna do a quick hit series on offensive tools. Uh, just to make sure that everyone understands what these tools are, what they're used for. Also, if you are you know have uh, any kind of aspirations of becoming a pen tester, this will help you along your way. But today I want to highlight NTLM relaying and just how simple this actually is when you're doing an internal pen test. So we're gonna use a tool called MITAB6 and one called NTLM Relay X, and we're gonna just take advantage of a workstation. So let's start, we'll start with MITAB6 over here, and we will get MITAB6 going, and what MITAB6 does is it sends out an IPv6 uh, DHCP server essentially, and says, hey, if you're part of this particular domain, read my IPv6 address that I'm handing out to you, and then respond the way I tell you to. So we have that going now, it's right here. We also have NTLM Relay X. So NTLM Relay X tells, is a NTLM relaying tool where we take a target and we specify what we want to target, right? So I'm targeting SMB on this file server over here, 192.168.136.11. Uh, I'm using a SOX proxy and I'm giving it the dash six so that it will respond on IPv6, right? That's important or else it will not work with MITAM6. So we'll go ahead and we'll start NTLM Relay X on IPv6. And there we go. It's also waiting down here. It's got a SOX proxy going. So if we're successful, we'll be able to use that SOX proxy with our tools. So. Point being, we also need to kind of pre-test our environment to find out whether SMB v2 and SMB signing is enabled. On this host, I know SMB signing is not enabled. The easy way to find that is something like using CrackMap exec to kind of create sessions and see if it sees signing. Signing means that this attack will not work, but most organizations do not turn on SMB signing by default. Now we're starting to see newer domain controllers have it on by default, but a lot of group policies, they're turning it off. So you can do this attack directly against the domain controller or just hack a member server and steal a domain admin that's logged there. And that's kind of what we're gonna do now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we will jump over here to our Hunter workstation and I'm literally just gonna renew the IP address on this thing. That's all I'm gonna do. The moment it gets, an IPv6 address, it'll man in the middle something. And there we go, Windows IP configuration, it is renewing. We'll come over here to MITAM6, we can see spoofed reply. We may have to nudge it a little more if we don't get a session. And we did not, but that's okay. So we can nudge it a little more once it's got its IP. Then once it resolves anything in the domain, it will eventually set up a session here, just like that. Yep, just did it. And now we have an active, successful session. So what does this mean? This means that I am in control of this host the, that I targeted. The 192.168.136.11, I am an active SMB session to that. Now I can see what level that is. If I go socks here, it's going to tell me what it is. And notice it says I'm an admin. So basically I got a hold of a server admin just now. Now what can I do with this, right? I want more. I don't just want a random SMB session. Well, because I set it up as a proxy, I can now come over here and I can use proxy chains. So I can do proxy chains four and I can use secret stone and I can dump out all the hashes from the server. But I don't need a password because I've already established a pass the hash session, right? I've passed the hash that I received from the end host to that server authenticated and have a session and now I can just do no pass. So here we go. And we should be dumping out credentials. And there we go. Down they come. And we got quite a bit here. So we can actually use this. We could you know, send it around the domain. We could try to log into the domain controller with some of these. A lot of the time you'll find Administrators will set passwords the same across the board. You pass this particular hash right here. Lots of things you can do. But uh, we are now fully basically in control of this system. And that was super easy. So hopefully you guys are enjoying or will enjoy this quick hit series. It's going to be short videos, just 
showing red team tools, how they work, what they do. Uh, we'll still keep doing our larger series where we're doing the attack and the defense and uh, the detection as well. But I want to have some quick hit videos out here for people who have well, you know, less time than 20 minutes to watch a full video. So I hope you enjoy these and uh, please like and subscribe. And as always, hack the planet so you can defend better. Thank you.